I, what I have to tell you is actually a pretty tame forecast all Good. in all, but there are still a lot of ups and downs that's still kind of active, but there's no major storm coming our way. Right. So you're going to see some variety in the forecast here, and I'll walk you through everything, give you a sense of when the timing takes place, especially when it comes to the precip. How do you have to plan for that? Frankly, guys, I don't think you're going to have to deal with too much here this weekend because this front that we're talking about makes its arrival or at least brings its initial precipitation when a lot of us are tucked away in bed for the night. So let's just start it off by looking at the temperature because I think that that is kind of the big headline for us in the next few days. So we are looking at daytime highs on Saturday, still in the mid 60s. That's where we top off today, but there will still be some showers around and a lot of clouds. So there's a little bit of a trade off there. It's the milder of the two weekend days. However, that's coming from a cold front passage and that's going to knock us back a solid 13 degrees over a 24 hour span for the forecasted high on Sunday to just be 51. And that's the best you get. So most of the day and also with an earlier kickoff for the birds, it means that it's going to be a little chillier than that when a lot of people are out. So how do we get to this point? Storm skin, nice wide zoom for you here, right? We have high pressure in place. That's keeping that sun out. It's keeping nothing more than a few puffy clouds rolling through for the better part of the day. This front, however, it's almost going to be like the hand of a clock and start to rotate from uh, the northwest into our region. So that's what's going to bring in that next round of precip. Doesn't look like it's all that impressive on the radar now. By the time it reaches us, it'll look very much the same. So this is three o'clock, a couple of hours from now, still generally in the sunshine. Then the clouds start to thicken a little bit. So 10 p.m., you're wrapping up your Friday night football games. There's still not a drop of rain in sight. So you'll get in your evening plans without any problems. It's overnight. See, 2 a.m. I mean, unless you're a late night partier like Jim is. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, then you're going to see some of those showers come in at that point. But uh, most of us are going to sleep right through this. As we head into the very early morning hours, that's when the brunt of this is coming through. And it's not really going to clear so much, but any precip starts to become a lot spottier throughout the course of tomorrow. Here's our current temperature values region wide. We're already at 60 in AC. It's certainly a cool afternoon, milder by comparison to yesterday. And when you don't have as much wind to contend with, or it's at least coming from more out of the southwest, it's going to make it feel a little bit better to you out there. It's just a nice fall Friday and also a great excuse to go hit up our Friday football frenzy, which is going on this time around in Delco. Haverford Fords taking on the Springfield Cougars on their turf. I would say have your team sweatshirt ready to go, but you don't have to worry about rain gear this time. 57 for the nighttime low. Now let's talk about the pro football, because if you are one of those early morning tailgaters or maybe you're just going to the AIDS walk up in uh, Center City, there will be a chill in the air. You're only held back to the 40s for the better part of the morning here, and there's also a breeze that's going to be picking up at this point. Still some leftover clouds too, so you won't necessarily have the benefit of the sun shining down to help it feel any warmer. But it is a gorgeous start to the afternoon, right? Here in Bethlehem Main Street, nice and quiet, nice and bright as well. You need your sunglasses, clearly. But uh, in the next few days, or certainly by tomorrow, you probably won't just because of that front that's still crossing through. So you notice that there isn't any kind of major storm coming through, but there are still that there's still that roller coaster effect where 60s, then back to 50s, then back up to 60s, then back down to 50. So we do have little disturbances that keep coming through to knock the temperature back, but nothing's major. So this is a pretty, pretty easy going couple of days. Mm -hmm. And My I can't dear. wait to get out there after the show's done too. You said it. Thank so you, nice. Katie.